G'day folks, Chris Gonzo Gondek here. Welcome to today's NetApp's Newsworthy Minute, fresh off the back of NetApp Insight Digital 2021, where one of the most exciting announcements uh, was made. Our very first third-party plugin to our awesome user experience cloud manager known as Fluid. So to help us understand a little bit more about the importance and the opportunities of this announcement, I have had the pleasure of introducing not just the founder and creator of Fluid, but also the founder and CEO of one of our longest NetApp partnerships in Australia, Andrew Soyquist. Andrew, welcome. G'day, Gonzo. Thanks for having us today. Fantastic. Mate, congratulations on becoming the first third-party plugin to our critically acclaimed uh, Cloud Manager user experience. Mate, tell us a bit about yourself and your role at Fluid. Yeah, thanks, Gonzo. So um, Fluid is an orchestration and order orchestration platform that turns bare metal hardware into cloud-like infrastructures uh, in a matter of minutes. And through our relationship with NetApp, we've worked really hard over the last little while uh, to make that accessible and uh, configurable from within inside of Cloud Manager. So we're really proud of what the team's achieved um, and are delighted that it's now available uh, for customers and partners particularly to, to take for a run. It'll alleviate the need to um, deploy uh, compute and network um, software stacks uh, manually in the field and really gets you straight into a position where you can start to deploy applications and data management uh, components uh, quite quickly um, at the edge of so places where the public clouds will likely never go. Okay, awesome. Well, look, mate, can you tell us a little bit about how you came up with the idea for what has eventually become Fluid. And uh, what was the opportunity that you saw to go and build something like this? I mean, it's no small feat, right, to create a whole uh, solution like Fluid. Yeah, look, we saw the opportunity because obviously the simplicity that comes with public cloud infrastructure, uh, and then also the, the, I guess, some inspiration that was drawn from, from NetApp themselves in terms of being able to deploy data management tools right across any cloud uh, in all the major hyperscalers. Uh, but also couple that with the um, more than 25 years experience of deploying uh, and managing customer data workloads in their own data centers or at the edge, we got to thinking that, okay, how do we kind of fill that gap and I guess bridge the gap, if you like, between on-prem or co-location facilities and the public cloud. And so that's really where, where it started. So Fluid um, set out to basically simplify the network connectivity between uh, all the different elements of the NetApp data fabric. And then through evolution, uh, now also deploys uh, Kubernetes um, in that same stack. So you have the compute and network capabilities deployed in a matter of minutes with Fluid, uh, couples really nicely then with the, the NetApp uh, portfolio of data fabric um, solutions. Fantastic. Look, while, while we are on that, actually, um, you know, we speak a lot about the NetApp data fabric at NetApp and the power of our hybrid multi-cloud uh, capability. But um, even we're open and honest about the fact that the NetApp data fabric isn't possible without the plumbing underneath. You know, you talked about um, Fluid being uh, specifically around networking capability first, and it's and grown and evolved from there. Um, how does Fluid make the NetApp data fabric become more reality? Yeah, so basically Fluid uh, allows you to automatically stand up the network connectivity between different NetApp uh, data fabric elements, whether that be a filer or uh, an E-series or storage grid system, or one of the, the cloud-based offerings, ANF, um, Google uh, Cloud Volume Service. Uh, we basically simplify that whole complexity of connecting the network between all those different elements uh, and like I said, we do that in a matter of minutes and meaning that uh, the focus can remain on actually making the data fabric um, deliver data magic. That's brilliant. And so uh, you're eliminating a lot of additional manual steps and possibly uh, having to deal with multiple different interfaces and, and the training to um, administer and manage those interfaces that has the kind of knock-on effect. It, it, overall, it's a better user experience, right? That's right. You can imagine the, the data fabric um, has uh, the, the various components and we sort of tip the fluid glue, if you like, into uh, the data fabric pot. And now all of a sudden all the components are, are you know, automatically connected to each other. I love that term, automagically. Um, so look, uh, 
Andrew, NetApp and Fluid, what we're effectively doing is building out a global alliance here. I mean, you're part of Cloud Manager now, which is you know the global um, user experience that you see. This is the, the window that we talk about uh, to the NetApp portfolio, which now Fluid makes up a part of. Um, what's your perspective on our joint value proposition to our partners and our customers? Look, I think uh, the joint value here is that um, in one stack, which is the, the Fluid and NetApp stack together, you can deploy your compute, your network and your storage and have that managed all from a single pane of glass within inside of Cloud Manager. It's a very powerful and compelling story. And it means, again, that the infrastructure complexity that might happen under the hood um, is now basically um, uh, absolved from the, from the user and basically it becomes a really simple uh, process so we can get into adding value to uh, end customers and users of platforms rather than spending a lot of time, potentially weeks or months in some cases, of building up bare metal uh, bare metal infrastructure. And we know that that's what customers want. They want to deliver value to their customers in turn. And so they can spend more time and engineering effort on actually enhancing their applications and their, their go-to-market services and less time on building infrastructure. Well, that's a win-win-win for everybody. So that's why we think from a value perspective, there's huge value to be had here um, for NetApp and customers, but also NetApp partners um, who are able to leverage Fluid um, to create these environments for their uh, NetApp enabled customers. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you talk about uh, uh, reducing time, reducing complexity. I think one of the comments was, you know, reducing months, days, weeks down to a matter of hours, if not less. So if I think about uh, all of the partner community that I work with, that we're trying to get them to kind of grow, uh, well, not just grow, but adopt a NetApp data fabric approach, which is probably, like you say, connecting multiple data center environments into multiple different hyperscalers. Sometimes you're dealing with multiple different entities uh, just to make those basic connections. So what we're talking about here effectively is uh, a partner who is leveraging Fluid will significantly speed up and significantly reduce the complexity of deploying a NetApp data fabric across a hybrid multi-cloud, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely, it, yeah. absolutely 100% uh, on, on the nose there, Gonzo. So that's exactly uh, some of the benefits. And in addition to that, then the, uh, the partner has the ability to migrate legacy VM environments into Fluid as well, uh, alleviating the cost of uh, VM licensing and the complexity that goes with managing a VM uh, stack. Um, but also that fluid environment is also ready to um, deploy uh, containers natively in Kubernetes stacks as well. Wow. So now you have a really nice transition pathway from VMs to containers uh, and, and straight away the customer's getting value in, in being able to you know, maybe uh, put the toe into uh, Kubernetes, um, something that up until now has been probably the exclusive domain of the public cloud providers because the public uh -huh. cloud providers do make that easy. With Fluid, we make it equally as easy. So um, all the challenges around how do you network Kubernetes, how do you do load balances, how do you do um, uh, storage connectivity, we obviously integrate with things like uh, NetApp Trident um, to, to achieve that. But all in all, this is all wrapped up into one really easy to use interface that's presented through Cloud Manager. So um, our existing customers for Fluid are already realizing this today. Uh, and we're keen to see, uh, see um, who will leverage Fluid to create uh, the next hybrid multi-cloud environment um, to, and really sort of push the boundaries and uh, improve the experience for their end customers. Look, you, you touched on a really good point there. I talked about Fluid enabling the creation and extension of a data fabric, but the, the, even the term itself, Fluid, you actually enable these workloads to be Fluid. The fact that it's built into Cloud Manager now, there's really nothing stopping our partners who are delivering a service and customers who are consuming the service to uh, add a new cloud environment suddenly overnight if a, if a need arises. And now in the past, uh, sure, the NetApp Data Fabric through Cloud Manager helps you to do that, but the plumbing had to be there. Now, we've got further agility and uh, further quick reaction time to be able to do these sorts of things. So, so you raise a really good point there. So Andrew, look, can I ask then, what do you see um, in the future for Fluid and, and then more importantly, the future of Fluid and NetApp together? Yeah, look, great question, Gons. And you know, coming off the back of a, 
almost 15 year relationship uh, with NetApp. And like I said, there's a huge amount of inspiration to be drawn uh, in what, how we've seen the NetApp organization evolve. Um, we believe that that will continue to, to push the boundaries. So you know, where we see fluid uh, is basically filling that gaps, so the gap between bare metal and having um, services ready for use. Uh, we're already doing some fantastic work with the uh, the Astra data store team around making Fluid a home to uh, rapidly provision Astra data stores. Um, but also, um, I guess, pushing further into um, really taking away the complexity of bare metal hardware. Um, we've seen the public clouds do some great stuff around uh, AWS Outposts is a good example, and other, um, I guess, off-premise um, uh, or off-cloud type solutions. Fluid can create that type of uh, agility and flexibility anywhere that it, that it desires to be pushed. Uh, and so some of the updates you'll see coming uh, later in uh, calendar year 2021, it's the ability to boot Fluid nodes directly from the cloud. So basically wow. taking a piece of hardware out of the box uh, and within a matter of minutes, it's created and instantiated itself a, uh, a Kubernetes cluster that's connected to any cloud um, mm -hmm. and can have the full suite of uh, NetApp data fabric uh, tools and, and uh, products deployed on it or integrated with it. So I think we'll, we'll continue to push down that path uh, and we're really looking forward to seeing where we can go in 2022 as we continue to evolve this great partnership. Fantastic. Now, is Fluid available today? Can we uh, can folks go into their cloud manager and, and click on the Fluid button that's now natively in there and, and get in touch? Absolutely. So uh, dive on in. Uh, you should see Fluid in the list of uh, options for um, being able to, to open that application inside a cloud manager. If you can't, drop us a note. Uh, we're here at fluidhq.io or speak to your uh, local account, uh, NetApp account uh, representative, and they can put you, put you in touch with us. But uh, we're ready to go today. We're ready for, uh, for more customers. Our existing customers have had a great experience uh, and we're keen to deliver that experience to, to more and more people uh, all over the world. That's fantastic. Andrew, I can't thank you enough for uh, coming out and talking to us today. Mate, congratulations again on achieving that milestone and I guess uh, that the achievement that will never be achieved by anyone else, being the first third-party plugin in our Cloud Manager experience and uh, absolutely uh, the concepts behind Fluid being about the user, about reducing complexity and improving that user experience matches the user experience that we're trying to deliver from Cloud Manager. So again, congratulations on that. No small feat. Um, really looking forward to how uh, this NetApp and Fluid partnership uh, will, will continue to grow globally, available in all regions around the world, connecting data centers and hyperscalers and everything in between right through the through to the new world of uh, microservices and Kubernetes and containers. Can't wait to see what you do next, Andrew. So Andrew, Fluid, thank you so much uh, for coming out and joining us today on this Newsworthy Minute. Can't wait to have you back. Thanks, Gonzo, and thanks for all your support too as this is uh, continuing to evolve. We really appreciate it. Uh, and the team really appreciates uh, all the relationships we have with uh, NetApp, uh, NetApp partners and NetApp customers. So thank you once again. Uh, fantastic, our pleasure. Cheers.